Okay, great. Let's look at our diagram again. We can see that um, A1 is equal to C1 and angle F2 equal to F3. But we can also see, as we've indicated, angle F1 is equal to F4 as well. By stating angle F1 equal to F4, with my reason being vertically opposite angles, I can then go ahead and make the statement, therefore, if angle F1 plus angle F2 is equal to angle F3 plus angle F4, it is because we've already got our given information that angle F2 is equal to angle F3. So from that, we can see exactly what I color coded there. If angle F1 is equal to angle F4, and angle F2 is equal to angle F3, then it means my left hand side is in fact equal to my right hand side. Right, vertically opposite angles there. Okay, right now the next one, let's see what we get. The next question asks, that we need to prove triangle ABC is isosceles. We need to prove tri triangle ABC is isosceles. Triangle ABC. Let's find triangle ABC first. That is our big triangle. How would we want to prove that it is isosceles? We will need to prove that certain sides are equal. What I already can see is that with angle A1 being equal to angle C1, I might actually prove that this angle is equal to that angle. And that might then allow us to state that this is in fact an isosceles triangle because our base angles are therefore equal. Because eventually we can say that AB is in fact equal to CB. Okay. Now how are you going to set that out? How are you going to go about that? We want to know if we can perhaps use congruency to prove certain things are equal. So what we can do is we can actually then go back one step and first see which triangles are we going to focus on. If we look at the triangle ABF, ABF, and our triangle CBF, we've already proven F1 and 2 together is the same size as F3 and 4. So like I indicated in the beginning, Use your theory according, accordingly, but in the way that it has been given. You've just proven that that angle is equal to that angle. And what else do we have is that we can actually use sides that are equal here because of the previously given angles. This length will be equal to this length because the opposite angles, angle A1 and AC, are equal. So if we already have an angle and a side, then what else can we use? We can use this beautiful common side. And like I warned last week, common sides are very popular in congruency. So within my triangle, I have managed to find three things in this triangle which can match three things in that triangle. Right, so let's take that all away and let's start with triangle ACF. 
in triangle ACF, what we can actually deduce is that AF will be equal to FC. You don't have to state that separately, but if you need to just make a note for yourself, AF will be equal to CF because of our base angles being equal, okay? Because C1 is equal to A1. So let's just quickly then start our proof. We will go via congruency to eventually find the isosceles triangle. And we can then see in triangle, a, B, F and triangle C, B, F. I have my first statement that A, F is in fact equal to C, F. Why can I make that statement? It's because here's my reason. We have angle A, 1 equal to angle C, 1. Base angles are equal, therefore sides opposite your equal angles. Are equal, right? Then for number two, let's see what we can do there. Number two, we can use our angles that we've proven in our previous one to be identical. Therefore, angle AFB is equal to angle CFB. BFC doesn't matter. Uh, BFC, sorry. Let me just go alphabetical. Because this angle is what I've proven here. That one is F1 and F2. That one is F3 and F4. Okay, we've actually already proven it, right? So you may make the statement here. Proven above. Right, now let's look at that third one that we can try and use. The third thing we want to use is our common side. Here we go. So if B is equal to if B, B F is equal to B if B is equal to if B is fine if you make that statement. It's a common side. Now let's wrap it up and let's find out what exactly have I proven. What do I have here? I have a side. What do I have here? I have an angle. What do I have here? I have a side. And once again, is it in fact the inclusive angle? Let's go back and look. Yes, absolutely it is because there's the side that I've used. There's the angle and there's the side. Side, angle, side. Beautiful. That is proven through side, angle, side. So now let's just see. We have to write the order correctly. Triangle A, B, F. is therefore congruent to triangle triangle CBF because A is equal to C angle B and then angle F. So A B F and C B F because of angle F there in the middle. Side, angle, side. Now, because of side, angle, side, I've got congruency. And out of congruency, I can then prove AB is in fact equal in length then to CB. Therefore, AB is equal to CB. How can I say this? It's because triangle ABF has been proven congruent 
Why did I go through all that work? I went through all that work so that I can prove the congruency. Out of congruency, the other sides will also, they will be congruent. They will be the same. Therefore, that makes this triangle an isos triangle. And that wraps it up. Triangle A, B, C is isosceles. Right, so hopefully that's made clearer and you guys can use your memo just to check 